Hey everyone, this is Alex Smith with Remax Reading and My Honest Agent. Uh, today, I felt like our video really fit my life because we spent the morning um, doing the city park cleanup for the PA pickup uh, event and the Keep America Clean event. So we are um, we were picking up litter today and trying to make the Earth a better place. It's you know April Earth Day, Earth Weekend this weekend. So I felt like this video was great. It's all about cleaning and decluttering your home. I think this is an essential question everybody has. What do I have to get rid of? What do I have to do before I list? And I thought it was a really good part of the seller guide. So make a video about it. So let's start out with what we must do, then we'll jump into what you might wanna do, and then eventually we'll get to how you go above and beyond and do those things that might be ultra specific or um, not everybody does before listing their house. So some real th simple things, less photos, I'm gonna put on here slash decor. You know, if you guys have decorations in your house, that's not a terrible thing. Uh, I guess I'm just trying to say, if you are lying, family photo, back to back to back I have seen it in houses and that's great that's if that's your style but um, when people walk into a house that really makes a room seem smaller if it's just pictures all over the walls so making that a little more sparse and consolidating how much decor you have making it a little more minimal but really broaden the the aspect of their eyes and make them see a bigger room than than what um, a house full of decor would would bring um, clearing the fridge. We're not talking about the inside. We're talking about the outside. So if you are aligned with magnets and they're taking photos of your kitchen, it's going to just kind of create a messy look. People look at it a little bit differently than if you have a clear fridge. So um, organizing the basement, I think that's a really smart one too. People are like, oh, we'll just stuff everything in the basement, stuff everything in the basement. But then the basement looks really small. And believe it or not, other people have to store stuff too. So when they see a small basement filled with stuff, that makes them think, oh, this basement is small, rather than if you have a smaller basement and you want it to seem big, you're not gonna wanna just stuff all your crap down there. You wanna make sure that you consolidate things in a smart way that's stored well um, to make people think, oh, this you know small basement is actually pretty usable. Um, giving the place a great scrub, I think that a lot of people miss out on this one. Um, you know, Maybe 25% of folks just really, really clean the place. And in the maybes, we have getting a professional cleaner or going above and beyond it and getting um, a professional service to come before showings. Uh, I think that that's a good consideration because sometimes living in a place, even my house, I miss the, you know, the creeks and corners because I'm just used to living in it. So I'm um, giving the place a really, really deep scrub. People will walk in and be like, wow, this place is clean. Wow, this is how I would keep my house. You know, um, they want to imagine themselves there. So this seems weird, but clearing your counters, especially for photos and showing. So I had a seller with their their um, kitchen was like three and a half foot wide and like six feet long. There was one count long counter with a stove, dishwasher, sink. So not very like great at how much space they have. Uh, so I said, hey, take everything out of there. We got rid of the trash can. We got rid of the coffee maker. We got rid of everything. And this was pre -pan or right around the pandemic. Um, and honestly, it worked out. Someone loved the kitchen. It worked for them. It was a mother and a child, so it wasn't like a, a large family. But in my opinion, I think the smartest thing we did was get rid of everything out of that kitchen because it makes things look bigger. And when people aren't thinking, oh, I need a dish rack and a coffee machine and a thing to hold all my spoons and a if you, if you don't have that on the table, they're not thinking about it. So um, they're just seeing all this counter space like, oh, I can cut on all this. This is enough. Um, they're, not, it's, they're not always going to that second and third level. I put windows on here. I know give a great scrub is probably part of that. But people love natural light, so bring that in. Clean up the windows. I know, that's a pain in the butt because you got to do the inside and the outside. Uh, but I love the fancy windows where they draw in. Yeah, that's my favorite. So... Um, maybe things. Let's talk about some maybe maybe things. So reducing decorations. I kind of think I doubled up with the less photos decor there. Um, reducing that amount of decorations, but I will tag on here if it's a holiday season and say you're like a house that if you're 600,000 plus and you might be sitting for longer than a house that would be $150,000 would be sitting don't have a bunch of Halloween stuff out because if your house sits for 60 days when you have Halloween photos, it's just not going to look appropriate. Um, safely store your vitals and jewelry. I think that's a smart one for anybody. 
uh, putting things in a place like a safe or uh, if you have prescription pills, you just never know. You hear these weird, weird stories. It's never happened to me, but safely storing your stuff, it just reduces the risk all the way. Um, an O2 machine for smells. This is a big one that I don't know if everybody realizes they need, uh, but getting something to clear out a heavy dog smell or a cat smell is important. It does affect the showing because people then immediately think, there's work to be done here. I need to replace the carpet. I need to do this. I need to do that. Um, we're going to have to repaint. So they're already thinking of costs. And if they're thinking of the cost of it, they're not thinking how much they can offer you above asking or close to asking because they're thinking, what do I have to do after I purchase this house? So getting something to re remove that smell, I'd say get someone you trust is going to give you the honest truth and accept it. I have a cat smell in my living room sometimes. It's okay. We clean it up if we were ever to sell the property. Um, we, we make it different. Uh, so paint touch-ups. So doing some paint touch-ups, I think that's a good maybe. If you have some dinks and dents, especially people, if you have dogs, pets, kids, you do need to clean up the baseboards, retouch things up before you sell the house. Um, you don't need to. I just think that it really makes the place look clean. Like if you're walking into a hallway and it's the front hallway and there's crayon four feet and down, um, people aren't really excited about that let's put it that way but if it's clean slick entrance it's all an experience you don't want to walk into a house and think oh there's work to be done here um you want to walk into the house saying "Ooh, i could imagine this clean place this neat place this paint touched up looks really tight and clean i'm gonna live like this forever you know the truth is they won't live like that for a month it'll be dinked up it'll be messed up but um they want to imagine that they would so at least they like the idea of a fresh start so doing those paint touch-ups might be an essential thing for you might not um, package all the non-essentials, anything that you have that are, is like, hey, I haven't used this in a long time, but it's sitting out in the open in my kitchen. Um, just package that up. Put that in a box and, and store that box in a place that makes sense because the less people see, the better off you are because they're just imagining this open space. Furniture, the minimal dec decor, that's, that's stuff that adds to the experience, but at the heart of it, they don't need to see the trinkets and stuff that personally you like. Um, you want it to be able to be applied to anybody's life and, and what their interests are. Um, so consolidate your closets. I know it's weird. People are going to be looking in your closets unless you lock them because they have stuff to store in the closets too. They want to see, hey, what's in here? Um, it is a very important thing if you have a small closet packed with stuff. Take some of that stuff out for showings temporarily because it'll show, hey, this is a closet I can imagine using rather than, wow, this person packed their closet. I'm probably gonna pack this closet. So just giving the idea that there's more space than there is, um, trying to underutilize the space to, to give a broader look at what the house could be um, in their eyes. So going above and beyond, I mentioned professional cleaners. So worth it, <laughs> it's so worth it. Uh, they, will, they will do the house better than you would if you get a, rep a reputable one. Power washing the house, um, I think that this is a good one because the exterior is sometimes ignored with the cleaning and decluttering and a good power washing I felt like was worth a mention. Um, in some neighborhoods you'll have like a wind and you're at the top of a, of, a, uh, of a mountain and you'll have a wind that just smacks you with that green stuff on your, on your siding and I think it's just really worth it to get that cleaned up and sparkling. Um, consider temporary storage. I think that that's for some people, if you have a lot of stuff, some people with a lot of kids have a lot of things that um, are stored in the basement and it does uh, essentially make the basement look small because you just have a lot of stuff and that's okay. Um, just consider, hey, my basement's packed. Would this be better to show the house and, and easy for me if I can store it at my dad's for a little or get something, some sort of temporary storage situation. So. All right, well, this is cleaning and decluttering. Let's roll through these really quick. Less photos and decor. Clear the fridge, organize the basement, give a great scrub, clear your counters, clean your windows. Those are all musts. Maybe reduce your decoration, safely store your vitals and jewelry, get that smell out of the house if you can, get someone that will be honest with you about that smell. Um, paint touch-ups, package non-essentials, consolidate the closets, make the space look bigger, minimal decor. Above and beyond, professional cleaners and power washing. Those are like really, really nice cinchers. Um, you gotta look at your competition. If it's competitive, it's worth to do these uh, extra few things. You know, it's not much to, to get these things done. And then considering temporary so storage to make your house look a little bit bigger than it is. 
Um, I think that's also up for consideration. So thanks for tuning in, guys. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. This has been Alex Smith with Remax of Running and My Honest Agent. Have a great day.